You work with a lot of different kinds of businesses, just <laughs> yeah. like I do. What do you think is, if not the most common, one of the most common mistakes that businesses slash business leaders make? Hmm. One of the most common. Um, they don't change before they have to. Mm. Good. Yeah, they don't change before they have. I mean, they they hold on to the past, and I understand why they do it because it works. And it, you know. Daryl Royal said, you dance with what brung you, and so they do it. But you've got to be willing to um, think about your business differently. You know, it's interesting, um, Netflix does a great job of that, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Other people could have invented, Blockbuster could have come up with Netflix. They didn't. Taxi companies could have come up with Uber. They didn't. And because they didn't change before they have to, um, they ended up getting beat in the marketplace. How about you? What's the uh, big thing? My nomination, uh, they make it too complicated slash overthink it. I tell you, that's just, yes. I'm, I'm on a rant about that <laughs> these days, but because it's getting such response from people, I, I'll ask the question, I'll say, how many of you can relate to this? You know, I think I'm making this way more complicated than it needs to be. And every hand in the room goes up, including mine. And I think that we are, we meaning darn near everybody in business, are so often so guilty of overthinking and overcomplicating. When that gets in our way, my, my mantra has kind of become uh, complication gets in the way, simple gets it done. Absolutely. You know, I, I didn't know if you were going to say that one. I thought you might say clarity. Well, clarity, uh, clarity ties right in with it. Um, I, of course, my famous story about that is the CEO who was pounding the table and said, you've got to get your people on board, get everybody on board. The CEO leaves the room and somebody says, on board with, <laughs> with what? what? With what? So yeah, without clarity, it's not going to work. Without clarity, you can't get buy-in and without buy-in, it's not going to happen. You know, and the other one that I was going to say too, if I hadn't been the, the change one, uh, first, it was Businesses don't tell themselves the truth. How do you mean? Um, I'll give you an example. I was working with a group um, in the last year or so, and we asked them this question. I said, in the mind of the marketplace, are we has-beens, wannabes, or heroes? Yeah. And they, they all said, well, in some places we're heroes, in some places we're wannabes, in some places we're has-beens. And the CEO stood up, and it was about his you know, 40 top people, and he said, you know, if we're a, a has-been to any area of our customer, to that customer, we're a has-been in every area. And we don't tell ourselves the truth about, one, how good we are, mm -hmm. and the other is how good we're not. Uh, and, you know, nothing ever changes until we can start telling ourselves the truth. And Jack Welch talked about it a lot when he was GE. He said, companies have a tendency to sell hats to each other. And what that really means is they, they tell each other what they want to hear. They come up with every justification in the world yeah. for why things happen rather than, uh, rather than the truth and acknowledging the truth. And nothing ever changes until we can tell ourselves the truth. Let me throw a, a closing thought on that to piggyback with that idea about not telling the truth, I think a huge trap a lot of people fall into is they don't tell the truth about their competition. Absolutely. Oh, we're so much better than our competition. Or, or no, the you're one, not. The one <laughs> no, you're me. not. Joe, I don't have any competition. <laughs> really? Yeah. You don't have any competition? What's life like on that planet? Because I have competition that's really good at what they do, and so do you. Everybody and, does. I know, and people absolutely really it's like they put a weight on themselves that holds them back when they underestimate the competition and when i do planning sessions everybody talk we, we do you know, swot analysis and what have you and they all say exactly what you're talking about and it's hard for them to come up and say uh, our competition is really pretty good. Well, I can say it. I say, <laughs> I say it all the time because you and I both know who our competition is. Yeah. And they are good. It's you. <laughs> For and me. I'm, and I'm good. And you're good. Cool.